if we have to choose between a wet Christmas or a white Christmas. I guess well, if we have to choose between a wet Christmas or a white Christmas, I guess most people would want a white Christmas, but I bet Jerry Brown tells us we're in for a wet Christmas instead, right, you've, Jerry? You've been tracking our forecast this week, Rhea. I have a chance. You're, you're right. We're not going to uh, have a white Christmas around here. That's a sure thing. I'll show you where they are going to have one in just a moment. But uh, right now, let's take a look at our readings around the area. Rapidly cooling. We hit 45. You saw in the Almanac. That's our normal high with lots of sunshine, but already 36 at BWI, 39 Andrews and Dulles. Let's see how Washington stands right now. They're in at the 40-degree mark with the pressure high and holding steady. A southeast wind at 12 and the humidity 62 percent. The air quality, that should say air quality, not wind chill. Wind chill is never good. The air quality in the good range today. Okay, all you Irving Berlin fans, you're dreaming of the white Christmas. Where do you go to get it? Well, head up to northern New England, across most of the Great Lakes, out over the northern plains, and down in the Rockies. Up to two feet of new fresh snow fell at the Alta Ski Resort out in uh, Utah. Really a nice skiing situation out there. Here's the clouds, which we're painting on the picture, and you can see that big comma shape, and that is usually indicative of a storm, and indeed, they've had a whopper out there. Of course, I told you about that heavy snow in Utah, the western cold, going to linger out there along the front. Now, we're going to get some warm but moist air up from the Gulf of Mexico, and that is going to contribute toward our uh, wet Christmas as this system starts to move our way. Let's zoom right in. You can see our skies. They remain clear today, but some clouds starting to move in, and we're going to see increasing clouds overnight. Tomorrow will be cloudy with probably some rain developing. Ooh by afternoon. Good chance of that, certainly uh, by tomorrow evening. So here's the forecast map tomorrow. Frontal system headed our way with all this precipitation. We should get some sun early in the morning, but then clouds filtering in at a rather rapid rate. By afternoon, the rain's probably upon us. You can see on the back side of this low, the snows up in the Great Lakes should be nice up there for Christmas Eve if you're into the white stuff, and there'll be heavy snow out in the Rocky Mountain time zone. Our forecast highs tomorrow. You can see the cold air lingering out there. Warm 80s in South Texas and 70s through Florida. We will be in the upper 40s, approaching 50 degrees, which is just where we should be in terms of seasonal norms. By Saturday, the front stalls out on the eastern shore, and a little low-pressure systems move right up along, and that keeps the rain in here through Saturday and maybe, maybe early into Christmas Day, but I think it will clear by uh, Christmas afternoon. So on balance, I think it should be at least 50-50, maybe better than that for Christmas Day. Forecast, let's go to it, and it reads like this. Overnight tonight, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies and rather chilly. 25 outlying suburbs to around 35 in downtown Washington. Light winds tomorrow, increasing clouds with some afternoon rain likely to develop 44 to 49 degrees of southeast wind flow. Tomorrow night, periods of rain and drizzle around 39 to 44. And then on Saturday, again, periods of rain and drizzle throughout the day. If you're uh, going to be doing that last-minute Christmas shopping, bring the umbrella when you go out. Of course, if you go to the shopping mall, it won't matter that much. Christmas Day, temperatures in the 50s, and we recover to partly sunny conditions. 40s on Monday with lots of sunshine and maybe some showers developing uh, by Tuesday. Uh, the answer to your question, Rhea, definitely on the wet side, not white for our Christmas holiday. Back to you and Susan. All right, Jerry, thanks. Actually, Susan and I think it's probably better that way. That way people can travel a little easier. That's right. I'm into safety this uh, <laughs> Christmas season.